you a bowl of broccoli sprouts. So this is what they look like, a lot like bean sprouts, but these are actually little sprouts that will eventually become broccoli unless you eat them in your salad, wraps, or sandwiches before then. Cruciferous vegetables have within them a compound called sulforaphane, which may not sound good, but it sure is. These are really important compounds that are naturally occurring in cruciferous vegetables in particular and highly concentrated in broccoli sprouts for some reason that appear to have anti-cancer activity when tested in cells, in cancer cells, what we call in vitro, under conditions of glass, whether it's a test tube or a glass plate on which cancer cells are growing, in particular mice. So I'm going to repeat that. There are studies showing that sulforaphanes will inhibit cancer growth in cells that are on a, a sheet or in a test tube, cancer cells, or in animal models. What you're not hearing is that they've been shown to be effective in people. So there are no studies showing that cruciferous vegetables will lead to regression of cancer. But so far, there, it looks as though there's some anti-cancer activity in cells and in animal models, which is always very promising.